Welcome back in. It is 644 right now and this morning. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is awaiting his sentence for murdering George Floyd last year in Minneapolis. On Tuesday, the jury there found him guilty on all three counts that he faced. ABC's Ike Ajachi is live in Minneapolis this morning with a look at what comes next. Good morning, Ike. Good morning, Christian. You know, we saw that video of all the people who'd gathered uh, near the scene where George Floyd was killed last year and their reaction. Can you talk a little bit more about what the mood was like there in Minneapolis? Well, it was a tale of two emotions. Uh, we saw protesters all throughout the week leading up to this verdict that they were angry, disturbed, frustrated for the lack of accountability they're seeing in the justice system. That's why you saw here in Minneapolis so many people just up in arms on the streets. Now, it wasn't until that verdict actually was uh, called out in court that you saw people cheering, even hugging, hugging each other, complete strangers, because this was a moment they felt was a page turner in this country. They felt that this country, America, finally turned the page towards accountability and justice. You have to understand, so many people here, they're so used to these type of trials never going this way. We, so many times in the past, we've seen police officers being charged with murder and manslaughter only to be let off the hook down the road. To see Derek Chauvin with his knee on George Floyd's neck for over nine minutes be charged and convicted of every single charge that he was that was levied against them it brought a sigh of relief to the people here on the ground so you saw it here on the streets and you also saw it all across the country and the world to an extent of people just screaming out in elation once they heard that verdict here in minneapolis and all across the country felt that we might be approaching an era of accountability in this country for police yeah i now here in Maryland, uh, we do not have cameras uh, in the courtroom for trials, but as everyone saw over the last three weeks, they do have them in Minnesota. Can you talk about what the impact of what have, what's been like for so many people to be able to see that trial as it happened? Well, you know, we haven't really seen high profile cases like this from the beginning to the end as much as we've seen this one. And, Double that with the fact that we're still in a pandemic. Everyone's, for the most part, still home. So they were glued to their TVs. Everyone was able to sort of sit in the back seat or in the passenger seat, rather, and really find out word for word what it's like for a trial like this. It was emotional because we saw 45 witnesses, several of them crying, giving their uh, first-hand account of what they saw that day. And it, it was one of those. It was one of those emotional roller coasters that we all get to got to sit down and. Take a, uh, take a seat and really witness. So uh, the fact that we were able to actually let into the courtroom and, and see the proceedings happen, uh, go throughout as, uh, as they were, it, it was quite the shock for some. But as you saw there, it helped everybody kind of follow along and really understand the process uh, of what a trial like this actually has. And you saw it yourself, uh, the actual ongoings and uh, the proceedings of the court uh, it came out to a verdict that everyone appears to uh, to, to be in favor of. So it's one of those things, as you said to yourself in Maryland, you know, we're, I'm over there in the DMV as well. Uh, cameras in the courtroom. Uh, it's not something that you see normally, but as you can see here, it was an opportunity for everyone to really understand and really see this country possibly turn a page. Christian. Sure was. ABC's Ike Ajachi live in Minneapolis. Ike, thanks so much for doing that this morning and uh, best of luck to you out there in Minnesota right now. Let's get a check at the forecast here on a Wednesday morning from Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. Good morning, Lynette.